Okay, so a final look at Fallout 4 at 21 by 9. So this should be the final time we look at Fallout 4. And I've waited around a while now to both ensure that no further updates should be necessary to this. And, well, also because I've been a bit lazy. So before we get started, I'm not going to explain exactly how to install each mod. All that information will be clearly written step by step in the description, so jump there for that stuff. But I'll run through each mod here and the overall outcome they have in the game. Also, I'm only going to be covering the ways to get this game running at 21x9 as best as we currently can. For any of the mods, you can then build them on top of this setup, but I'll not cover extra mods here, so just to keep things nice and simple, and you can just go further and mod the hell out of the game from this base level. And also, further modding of the game does require some extra config file editing in order to get Nexus Mod Manager running properly. So first of all, as the game lacks any kind of ultra-wide support, you first will need to install mod number 1 in the description, and you can use either Nexus Mod Manager or do it manually. I did it manually as there is a load of stuff you should do when modding with Nexus, so I found it just easier to manually do it, but it's not exactly hard as it's literally a single file you're dealing with. But before going any further, make sure you have uninstalled any previous version of this or any other mod. If you're unsure, just reinstall Fallout 4. I know it's an effort, but it's the safest way to ensure you get the game running perfectly. Now once this mod is installed, you will see all the basic ultra-wide support will now be there. The game full screens, it shifts the HUD to the edges, your field of view is expanded so you can see more horizontally, sniper scopes no longer have their black bar issues among a massive list of other fixes. However, there are still issues. The power armor HUD will still be stuck at 16 by 9 the FOV is still an effort to change, and so on and so forth. So the next step to rectify all these smaller problems is to download the Flawless Widescreen plugin for the game. Again, links to this will be in the description. And now the screen boxes for the HUD will match up to the text. You can change your FOVs with ease. And really, the only issue I found remaining is the Power Armor HUD still sticks to 16x9, requiring the last mod. So follow the steps for mod number 3 in the description, and this will rectify the Power Armor HUD issues, making it fill the screen beautifully. There is, however, a final problem that was just more pain to fix than just to leave it, and that was the rain box that appears on your power armor HUD. When it rains, you get a very stupid looking 16x9 box of raindrops, as if it's landing on your visor. But as I say, honestly, it's far easier to just put up with this than mod a fix to make it ultra wide, which would obviously look great. But it's just, it's such an extremely rare thing to see, because not only do you have to be in power armor, but it needs to be raining at the same time, and I just found that such an infrequent combination that, I don't know, I just didn't think that it was really worth the effort of modding it. And after looking at the mod and trying to install it, I realized it just isn't worth the effort for very little reward. Though I'm sure someone gets it raining all the time when they're in the power armor. There's always going to be someone. Now, Flawless Widescreen gives you a ton of options for changing the game, one of those being FOV, which is very important. I increased my first-person view for both guns and normal view to 95, and set third-person to 80. Now, it's worth noting you can just tab out, make the changes to Flawless Widescreen, and tab right back into the game. You don't need to restart it every time you make a change, which is lovely, especially as the loading times are bloody stupid long. I really should have stuck this on my SSD. Now, I hadn't played much of Fallout 4 since launch, and I know, shock, horror, until very recently, due to a mix of me being very annoyed with the horrific performance issues and use of an incredibly outdated engine, and this wasn't helped by the serious ultra-wide issues just rife throughout the title. 
However, all these issues, apart from some performance issues and obviously the use of the same old engine, were sorted out for the most part, and so when I returned to play, I suddenly became hooked, like everyone else has been for so long, and I'm having a blast. I didn't exactly go and explain why, I'm sure most of you have played god knows how much of it by now. But it still saddens me that it was built so poorly from just a technical standpoint, because if this game had good graphics and a robust engine, it would hands down be one of my all-time favourite games. But because of these technical issues, I just can't say that. However, I hope these 21x9 fixes will allow you to play much more easily. Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any other games at 21x9, head over to my channel, hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you would like to donate to the channel, then links to my Patreon page are in the description. See you later. Put too much weight on that leg until you tend it. 